Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a beautiful Friday. Uh, I am very excited to have you. Welcome back from the prayer altar yesterday. We had such a beautiful time. Come on, somebody. Applaud the Lord. Give the Lord a mighty hand clap above your head. Just send an emoji of the hand clap. Uh, the Lord was faithful to us yesterday. We had such a beautiful time right there at the prayer altar. It is a beautiful afternoon. Remember yesterday our pastor told us, we lay our future in God's hands. Oh, wow. What a word. That was my take-home statement too. And then in the lunch hour, Joshua chapter 1 and verses 6. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. Be of good courage. Be courageous. The Lord is with you. He's taking you through just like he was with Moses. He is also with you. He's going to take through every kind of trouble that you're facing. You are walking through that valley. You are walking through that furnace together with him. Oh, yes, you are crossing the waters with him. You are taking on that new place with him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for following us. Thank you so much for tuning in live. Uh, just like you do it every day. Go, go to your phone, reach out to your page, and host a watch party. Let us preach the gospel of Jesus Christ together. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are so glad we don't take it for granted. 
every single day that you actually come and we start this together and we set ourselves together with you the lord is surely going to encourage somebody the lord is going to empower you the lord is giving you courage so that we can do this together so that we can start together in the mighty name of jesus and uh, before we do anything else I want to appreciate people that are sending your testimonies. You are such an encouragement to us when you tell us that you're healed, when you tell us that you got a new job, when you tell us of the projects that you have so far worked upon, when you inform us of everything that you have done. Ah, uh, that is our encouragement. Remember the Bible says that they overcame him by the power of their testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Yes, when you give us your testimony, you are actually overcoming the devil's kingdom. You are overcoming the dark powers in the mighty name of Jesus. That is how we get blessed. That is how we move forward. That is how we move on. And the Lord is so wonderful. He is exalted above every other challenge. And then we are sure that surely we have the courage to face tomorrow and to face the mountains that are before us. I don't take it for granted that we actually have people who keep on sharing uh, the one-minute prayers, who be people who keep on sharing the Pastor Wilson Bogembe page on Facebook, people who subscribe on YouTube. You are our family and we love you. Our valued commenters, our top fans, our sharers. May the Lord richly bless you and look out for you. May he fight for you your battles in the mighty name of Jesus. And to those of you who testify, may the Lord do more. May his mighty hand continue reaching out to you. And you shall surely live to exalt and glorify his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And to you, our partners, our partners, our winning team, people that pay your tithe, to you people who give in your seeds, to you people who are giving your offerings, people that call and you say, hey, how can I support the work of God? We don't know what to say. We don't have enough words. Apart from a prayer, Peter said, silver and gold, I have none. But what I have is what I give to you. And to you, I declare a special prayer of favor. I declare upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. All that this week we have started about the Lord encouraging us and telling us that be of good courage. So be of good courage, our partners. Be of good courage, the winning team. Be of good courage, the result force of the worship house. Be of good courage, Rose Kate, uh, Peter. Be of good courage. Be of good courage, Mary. Be of good courage, Hasfa. Be of good courage, people in Netherlands. Be of good courage because the Lord is with you. David said that I come to you uh, with the Lord. The Lord of Israel, the Lord of Jacob, the Lord of Abraham, the Lord of Isaac. Though you have come to attack me with a spear and a sword, but I stand before you in the mighty name of the living God. And I want to borrow and re-echo David's words. And to every person that has taken a special step of faith, so that you can make sure that we stay on TV, so that we can make, you have made sure that we stay on internet. People that are giving their special seats to feed people to feed the hungry, to treat the sick, to you people who have sold seeds. Not, probably it is not even financial, but you are giving in something, something that exceeds money. You are giving in your time. You are giving in your data to you person who is giving out physical food. Oh, I declare may the Lord God fight your battles for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I lay your future in the Lord's hands. Just like we prayed yesterday as our pastor was leading us on I pray for you. Oh, may the Lord hold your future in his hands. May the Lord solve your issues. May the Lord melt the mountains before you. I pray that the Lord shall separate the red seas ahead of you. Oh, I pray that he shall make a way where there seems to be no way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. While so many are crying, the Bible says, oh, the righteous shall not lack. Oh, because you have stood with the Lord, I pray that he will stand out for you. I pray that he shall protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, I call you special. I call you favored. I call you anointed because I've taken a special step of faith and given in the time of lockdown when everything is not working out in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And amen and amen. And then to those of you who have had people who complain that when we come on live, they don't get a notification. It is actually, uh, you go to the Facebook page. Uh, when you reach Pastor Wilson Bugembe, you open it up. Then 
you click on the three dots that are just uh, right on your screen, the right side corner when you're looking at your phone or your computer. You know, the right side corner, there are three dots. You click on them, then you'll see that notifications button on. You tap, you tap on it, then it will be switched on. From then, from that moment, from now, if I've done it, then you start receiving notifications. I think let me go through it one more time. You open, you click on the page of Pastor Wilson Bugembe. Just below, you're going to see three dots below the timeline and the profile peak. You're going to see three dots. You click on them. Then they will show you a button. You click on it. When it slides, you can start receiving notifications. That is when you will know when we are on live. And to those of you on YouTube, subscribe and accept the notifications so that you can also get to how to know when we come on live or when something is posted in the mighty name of Jesus. That is also a seed that you can give in the house of God, in the kingdom of God. Because when you do that, or you host a watch party, or you share, that is how you also preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to somebody who may not yet be liking the pages or subscribing on YouTube. To those of you people like our brother in Lira, uh, to those offices, uh, I was told of an office that makes sure that when we come on live, they broadcast it to the entire workers. And to those of you people who call your friends and relatives to come in your house and you share this together, just remember you have to do social distancing so you can just increase the volume so that other people can get to hear. The Lord will also bless you in a special and different way. That is also your seed. And I've declared for you a blessing in that prayer that I've just made in the name of Jesus. Right about this minute, uh, before our pastor, you remember this week, we are studying and we are still studying in that word. Uh, though we are winding up our week, I am excited about the weekend. But the word that I've been studying about from Joshua is in um, Joshua chapter 1 and verses 6. Be courageous. The Lord is with you. Then, uh, before actually we go into the prayer session, I'm going to request us to turn to uh, my friend, my little sister. She has a word. I'm going to request her to come here. Yes, we have uh, people that are coming on uh, uh, in the worship house from our Sunday school, people that follow us. And this is my little sister here. She's going to briefly share a word with us before we get into a prayer. Let us get to know probably the Lord you never know. He can communicate to you through her. I believe she's a blessing to this generation. Please get a hold of a microphone, darling. And tell us your name. Yeah, and the school probably that you go to, even though we are in lockdown. <laughs> and then you'll tell us. My name is Luzige Joel Anankabira. Uh, I go to Trinity College in Apingo. Uh, You're in secondary school? Yes. Which class are you? Form one. You look to be so young to be in form one. I thought you were in primary five or something. Okay, continue. How old are you? I'm 12 years old. Okay. So you're in that teenager's church now, right? Yeah. I'm going to read the scriptures from the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 6 to 7. It says, Be, be determined and confident. For you will be the leader of these people as they occupy this land, which I promised their ancestors. Hold on, darling. Hold on. Be determined and confident. For you will no, be... No, no, wait. Just uh, take it from the beginning. From Tell us the book that you're reading from and then... I'm reading from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. It says, be, be determined and confident, for you will be the leader of these people as they occupy this land which I promised their ancestors. Just be determined, be confident, and make sure that you obey the whole law that my servant Moses gave you. Do not neglect any part of it, and you will succeed wherever you go. The second scripture comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31. Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse, verse 6. It says, Be determined and confident. 
Do not be afraid of them, your God. The Lord himself will be with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. Amen. My name is Luzige Joel Anankabira. Joella, do you have anything to tell the people that you have learned from that scripture? Whatever you do in life, yeah. never give up. Okay. Always be confident. Okay, use the microphone well. Um, be confident for you'll, for you'll get what you want and have the faith in, in, in your Lord. Amen. You'll go through what you want. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, Joella. I think you have heard from her. Joella, am I saying the name right? Joella? Good. Uh, Joella has told us, just like you have heard from the book of Joshua, the one that we are studying from this entire week. Don't be afraid. Be confident. Joella has told you, be confident that you're going to make through. You're going to make it through in whatever challenge that you are facing. Be confident because God is with you. Without spending any more minutes as we are waiting for our pastor to join us, let us go into the time of prayer. Let us go into the time of prayer and uh, the Lord shall surely bless us. I just want to remind us, if you can support us with the pavers debt that we have, if you can support us with the pavers page that we have, uh, please contact us. You can reach out to me or to Alex or to Damasco or you can drop a message on Facebook. We need to cover this debt of 16 million shillings. Uh, we pray that it goes down. Uh, we pray that the Lord shall use you. Uh, get the little that you have. You might actually think it is little, but yet it is too much. Because you never know a step of faith can take you to a greater destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. So please stand with Damasco. Stand with us as we are trying to clear off this debt. And the Lord shall surely bless you in the name of Jesus. I'm going to request us to use a scripture from Joshua chapter 1 and verses 6. And just like Joella has told us, be confident because the Lord is with you. Let us pray. Father, we bless your name and we give you glory. You are our Abba Father. We don't have any other place to run to. Nobody knows our future apart from you. You are the omniscient God. We come to you this afternoon. We come to you as a church. We come to you as a family. We come to you as individuals. We come to you as hospitals. We come to you as cities. We come to you, King of Glory, as nations. We come to you, mighty King of Glory, as the people that love you and seek your face. You have said in your word that we shall, those who seek you shall not seek you in vain. You are our strength and you are our hope. You are our eternity, Abba Father. The Bible says in John chapter 15 and verses 5, You are the vine and we are the branches. Without you, we can't do anything. You are the Alpha and you are the Omega. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. You are the author and the finisher of our lives. Mighty King of glory. You accepted and permitted a life to be born on earth. I pray, mighty King of glory, Lord, that you shall look after somebody. Take them through this journey of life. Lead somebody, mighty King of glory. May you go ahead of them. May goodness and mercy follow after us. I pray, mighty Jesus, that somebody's story shall end well. I pray to that person who is afraid, somebody who doesn't know what to do, there is a husband who has lost a wife. There is a wife who has lost a husband. There is a marriage that has broken up in divorce. Mighty King of glory, there are those who are still together physically. But yet they know that they are not together at all in that marriage. Some people don't know what is next in their lives. Some people are shattered. Some people are destroyed. Some people are shaking up. They don't know what to do. Some people are so afraid they can't even think. There is a family that doesn't know what is coming on next. Some children have lost their parents. Some children have lost their fathers who was the pillar. A mother doesn't have work. A man doesn't have work. Somebody doesn't have a job and they don't know what to do. We have people in the foreign lands, mighty king of glory. They don't know what is next. 
they are even in the lockdown they don't have jobs yet they have to pay rent we have those who have to pay fines we have some people who are waiting to be deported they are those mighty king of glory right here in our country they also don't know what to do they don't know the next step oh some people are dismayed some people have been discouraged some people don't know what is happening next they don't have a plan we have people who don't have a plan they don't know how they're going to pay the rent for all these months they need rent for their houses and they need rent for their shops they need rent for their offices people don't know what to do but mighty king of glory above all we want to thank you that they are still alive we thank you that they still hear the voice of someone preaching we thank you that there is still a voice of prayer that is reaching out to them oh lord i pray for that family that doesn't have food i pray for that family that doesn't have money they are financially stressed i pray for those people who have lost their loved ones and their beloved may you be the comforter may you be the solution may you be the redeemer we don't have a place else to look up to david said or the psalmist said i raise my eyes to the mountains where will my help come from my help comes from the lord the creator of the heavens and the earth surely and surely we are not going to shrines somebody has decided not to go to any place else they have decided not to call on to any idols some people have decided that they will not look unto the leaders because even the leaders don't know what to do in such a time oh COVID-19 has spread some people don't know what to do doctors are dying and the patients are dying too people don't know what to do professors don't know what to do but just like we prayed yesterday I re-echo the words of my pastor we lay our future in God's hands somebody should write a speech a speech of victory by faith in the mighty name of Jesus because the Lord has set your his eyes unto you oh yes may his face shine upon you may his countenance be set on you in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we call upon you because you are a helper we call upon you as a comforter I call upon you Lord to reach out to that family I call upon you to reach out to that household or oh, to that person who doesn't know what to do somebody thinks that taking their own life shall be the solution no that is not the solution you need god to come to through for you you need god to help you walk on the waters peter you need god so that you can have faith so that you can set out to go and ask for a job and look for a job you need god peter to call you out of the boat and you step out on the waters yes you can walk on the waters yes deborah you need god you need god to anoint your head with oil so that you will be able to lead that army of ten thousand men into battle and the victory is yours you need God Jehoshaphat you don't need to fight in this battle all God requires of you is to praise to somebody out there who doesn't know what to do to somebody out there the enemies have come to attack diseases have set out to attack oh sicknesses have set out to attack you infections are like a song in your house death and barriers are like a song in your house but you don't need to fight with your own carnality the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3 and verses 5 lean not on your own understanding but uh, lean on God lean on God lean on God because with him you can do everything because with him you can fight so many battles and overcome when he leads you oh you remember Cyrus in Isaiah chapter 45 when the Lord led him on her oh bronze gates are broken before him yes you will be able to cross over the waters yes Esther you will be able to become queen in that palace regardless that you were foreign in that land where you are you may be in Netherlands you don't know what to do I pray for you my friend in Netherlands you are feeling pain all over your body but yes it is the Lord who is the healer above all the doctors may the Lord treat your sickness may the Lord treat your pain I pray for you those people in Belgium may the Lord look out for you I pray for people in China problem after problem now I just read a headliner when their floods that are going on oh I pray for people in Kasese it is only the Lord that can intervene for you it is only the 
the king of kings it is only the lord of hosts it is only the mighty warrior it is only the holy spirit who can come and intervene yes your life is becoming better yes your life is getting solutions yes your life is being solved yes he is the fixer fixer of everything you are the alpha you are the omega lord we are calling on to you who sees the end right from the beginning come in lord come in lord intervene in our lives intervene in our ongoing situations intervene in somebody's challenges the mountains are too big the mountains are too great for us we cannot bear them we don't have the strength to climb but yet you have set them before us and you are saying we shall be able be of good courage be of good courage the lord is with you remember david said he told goliath that i come to you who are you uncircumcised philistine to come and attack and intimidate the nation of god the one that he has chosen oh and god is on your side who can be against you call on to god to join your situation call on to the lord to intervene into your plans call on to the name of the lord to intervene into your life in the mighty name of jesus may god intervene into your workplace I pray that the Lord shall intervene into your economy. Oh, I pray that the Lord shall intervene into your nation. Wherever you are, just mention the name of your country. Just mention the name of the city where you are. May the Lord intervene in Finland. May the Lord intervene where you are. May the Lord intervene in Vasa. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. May you intervene in Germany. May you intervene in Italy. May you intervene in Bahrain. May you intervene in the United Arab Emirates. Intervene, King of Glory, right here in Malawi. Intervene in Botswana. Intervene lord in burundi they even lost their leader may you intervene king of glory for the new one that is about to take them on intervene lord intervene lord give him the wisdom that you gave to solomon to be able to lead your people ah yeah yeah jesus i pray jesus i pray that you will visit a certain life visit a certain family in the name of jesus give them the gift of salvation if that is what they need i pray that the lord shall come through for you in the mighty name of jesus to those of you discouraged by the losses uh, to those of you discouraged by death uh, may the lord intervene uh, just like he intervened for peter just like he intervened for silas uh, remember peter when he was deep in the cellar the angel of the lord came uh, there was an earthquake felt uh, and he walked out of prison uh, went through the first door went through the second door went through the third door and he seemed like a person who was dreaming uh, oh but tonight i pray for you may you be able to walk out of a certain situation may you walk out of that disease may you walk out of that depression may you walk out of that failure may you walk out of that challenge may you walk out of that luck may you walk out of every failure for walk out of your family habit walk out of your personal habits oh yes you are becoming a stronger man yes you are becoming a stronger man your future is in the lord's hands your church is in the lord's hands in the mighty name of jesus your ministry is in the hands of god we lay our future we lay our future in the hands of god we lay the future of your marriage in the hands of god we will lay the future of your relationships in the hands of God we let the future of our economy as Uganda in the hands of God we let the future of the church of Uganda in the hands of God we let the future of our nations of our continents in the hands of God we let the future we let the future of our mighty king in the hands of God we let the future of our president in the hands of God we let the future of our mighty ones in the hands of God you are able be confident my sister be confident my brother be confident in god be confident in the lord he's fixing your situation he's fixing your life in the mighty name of jesus oh yes he is you are able oh yes you are able in the mighty name of jesus take up your confidence take up your confidence the lord is powerful the lord is able the lord is mighty the lord's hand is powerful he will save you he will redeem you he's redeeming you out of every prison cellar to those of you in real prisons you are locked down uh, without even an offense uh, you don't have a crime may the lord come through for you i pray to god uh, that he will stand in your gap in the gap and be your advocate uh, in the mighty name of jesus uh, if you are falsely accused uh, the lord is solving your issue the lord is solving your problem in the mighty name of jesus uh, may the lord fix you may the lord fix you may the lord fix you oh we lay our future in the hands of god uh, we lay our future in the hands of god uh, be of good courage uh, 
be courageous be strong you are walking through that valley with the hand of god holding you you are walking through her that situation that death you're walking out of that grave with a lord ahead of you yes you are able yes you is able abraham you're going out to look for a new job the lord is with you go into a country that you don't even know the lord is with you you are out there in saudi arabia the lord is with you people out there in denmark the lord is with you people wherever you are in the continents of the world wherever you are in different nations the lord is with you the lord is your portion the lord is your strength the lord is your shield the lord is your refuge he knows all the details of your life in the mighty name of jesus he is jehovah a roy he is jehovah rafa he is the lord of hosts he is the mighty banner yes in the name of jesus he is your savior he's coming through for you things are going to change stories are changing stories are changing testimonies are coming in in the mighty name of jesus by the end of this week i pray that the lord shall have solved upon every challenges that you're facing and by faith you will sing a new song be courageous be strong the mighty hand of god is with you he has anointed your head with oil to work upon every challenges he's with you he is your source he is your power in the mighty name of jesus come on somebody give the lord a mighty applause above your head thank you jesus thank you lord you are the amen and you are the alpha thank you Abba father we give you glory in the mighty name of jesus amen clap for grace thank you so much thank you so much in the book of esther chapter 4 verses 5 Esther chapter 4 verses 5 thank you so much for streaming in for seeking the Lord he will Bible says in Matthew 7 7 seek me and you shall find me hallelujah so let's uh, are you there be so near here Esther chapter 4 verses 5 So Esther's maids and Enoch's came and told her and the queen was deeply distressed Then she sent garments to clothe Mordecai and take his sackcloth away from him but he would not accept them. Then Esther called Hathach, one of the king's enarchs, whom he had appointed to attend her. And she gave him a command concerning Mordecai to learn what and why this was. So Hathach went out to Mordecai in the city square that was in front of the king's gate. And Mordecai told him all that had happened to him and the sum of money that Haman had promised to pay into the king's treasuries to destroy the Jews. So he gave him a copy of the written decree for their destruction and which was given at Sushan that he might show it to Esther and explain it to her. Verses 15 to 14. Mordecai said, For if you remain completely silent at this time, Relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. But you and your father's house will perish. Yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this.
Go gather all the Jews, verse 16, who are present in Sushan and fast for me. Gendo kunganyaba yudaya bo nabali wo mususani monsibire. Neither eat nor drink for three days. Sote mulia ni wankuwa do kunywa enako sato. Night or day. Emisana nechido. My maids and I will also fast likewise. Ila nange naba wada bange tu nasiba we tutio. And so I will go to the king which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Talk about courage. Talk about determination. So Mordecai went his way and did according to all that Esther commanded him. I want you to know that being courageous like Esther I want to talk about the source of courage according to, to some people when they see their mother they become courageous they say what mommy has gone through I can handle this marriage people they are people with who you look at and be, be strong may the Lord bless them and keep them so to such a person their courage the source of their courage to run through hard times comes from a mother a father or a boss or someone you know or a sister there are some courageous people I remember uh, Rachel, Rachel the, one, the one that comes here to sing there was a time uh, a friend of mine lost a baby uh, a baby at birth so we went to see the baby me by nature dead, dead bodies yeah I fear. So I was seated with, I was standing with Rachel. And I said, so the baby has died. Oh, sorry. So where is the body? And Rachel was carrying, a, 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 all along she was carrying a baby. We are talking. She said, oh, the baby is here. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. I'm like all along. <laughs> yeah, she's, the baby died. This is the one I'm carrying. The parents are finalizing the bills. Yeah, I thought maybe the baby is in a mortuary. So Rachel is very strong. She's carrying the baby. Who is dead? And she didn't want me. Me, I. I we've been talking for I thought she was carrying a living baby so some people are stronger than others yes some people are stronger than others some people are more courageous than others that's why God creates leaders some, some people every time they see um, maybe the leader of their party or the lead of that or the, or the, some people be strong they, they know there is no roof at the wash house but they know Wilson yeah Wilson <laughs> yeah, that guy ah, that guy is strong they know it will be roofed they pick courage from their past so may the Lord bless those people sometimes we pick courage from our husband sometimes we pick it from our sister sometimes we pick it from our boss imagine you are going to, to, to for a war. Okay, ima okay, imagine you are going to pray for dead people. Hey, let's go, let's go. It's just an imagination. Sick and dying people. And you are, you are in a line. Before you know it, Benny Hinn joins your line. How would you feel? You feel eh? You're like, let's go raise these oh, dead people. Where are you picking your courage from? 
from another person. So identify those people and keep them close. Strong people, courageous people. Did I make a point? Yeah. Okay, let's clap hands to Jesus Christ. Alright? But for Esther, the source of her courage to face the king she got it from three days of fasting. That's true. She got it from fasting. She said, I can't do this. But go tell Dekai to tell everyone listen to fast not for themselves. To fast for me. Did you hear that? You are going to declare, they declare the three day fast, but not for them. To fast for Esther, because Esther needed courage to face the king. Do you understand? So they all fasted. But crying to God, mentioning one name, Lord, help Esther. She has a mission to do. She has to go and ask the king so that we are safe from Haman's threats. Because Haman had threatened to kill them all. So Esther fasted to get courage. And everyone fasted for him. So it is okay to tell people to pray and fast for you. Actually, me, I'm the most lucky people. I tell people, some of these people don't pray. I tell the guys, you guys pray. Me, if you don't see me pray, me, I have people praying for me. Everyone that prays for me, God bless you. So it worked. The Bible says they fasted for three days. Seeking God's strength and courage. So please write this for me. It is okay to fast for someone. Someone who is sick in hospital. Someone whose marriage is, is shaking. Someone uh, that is going for a job interview. So they fasted for Esther. Because she needed a mission. She had to go for a mission. She needed favor before the king. Another thing I want you to see. She needed to break the law. There was a bylaw that in such a time you, they don't see the king even if you are the queen. Otherwise they will kill you or they, you, you lose your queenship. But Esther needed to break the law. You understand? So fasting these three days of fasting we are also to break the law because Satan attacked them in a time when they don't see the king so the, the queen couldn't save them so Haman decided to wage war so Esther said guys I know the rules I know if I do this, I will even lose my, my, my queenship. But fast for me for three days. So that, because, so that we break this law. The Bible says in the Ex Esther 4, verse 16, Go gather all the Jews who are present in Sushan and fast for me. Neither eat nor drink for three days. So I could get courage. Right? Day and night, it was a dry fast. My maids and I will fast otherwise, likewise. And so I will go to the king which is against the law. If I perish, I perish. That is, eh? If I die, I die. <laughs> that was determination. 
she was risking her life but she declared a three day fast so I want you to be practical and see it like you are seeing a movie the three days of no Jews eating, drinking for three days but not mentioning their problems just lifting Esther that she will be courageous to face the king and to break the law so if there is someone you know going through a tough time you can declare a fast for them you can even pray for them you understand that's why we stand here and pray for people and God hears our prayer so it is allowed to pray for someone and God will answer you in the spiritual world so I want you to see all the Jews they were going to be killed they had one representative so that's why I tell people before you go for your blood check first for at least three days God can change the result even the courage to go before you go for a job interview you can fast and pray she needed courage before you go to start that business you can fast and pray before you enter your new house pray that God will give you peace in that house. Before you get married, you can fast go and pray. Sometimes you can fast to pray, fast and pray that God will give you courage to marry or get married or to, 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 to make a decision that is not easy. That's why they fasted for Esther, to get courage and to get favor to break the law. But Haman and his people, they kept on planning, but they didn't know that someone is talking to God to change his plan. Am I talking to you? So anyone that is that the devil is planning and threatening bad things, in Jesus' name we pray for you and let him go on planning, but he will lose the battle in Jesus' name. That's why when you get bad dreams or evil dreams, you can fast go and pray. But if I had time, I would talk about, but let me talk about it for like two minutes. Because the Bible says fast and pray for three days because it is against the law. The law, it was a bylaw. You don't see the king now. Otherwise, they will kill you. It doesn't matter who you are. That's why she said, if I die, I die. But the only weapon she knew was prayer and fasting. Which is the only weapon we all have. Amen. So pray and fast. When you panic, you need courage, you can pray and fast. The Esther kind of fasting. When you're scared, you can pray and fast. When you need courage to make a serious decision, you can pray and fast. The source of courage for Esther was from fasting and prayer. Me, every time I pray about something, I sleep well because I gave it to the king of kings the defender of the weak the lion of children the might warrior the author of good days the author of good news hallelujah Amen. so I want you to see let me talk about briefly about half 10 minutes briefly about for it is against the law so she knew that prayer and fasting will break the law. It is against the doctor's report if you say that HIV can heal. So fasting and prayer 
can change the doctor's report. There are some people that people that the, the world has said those are for dying. There's someone watching me, you are waiting to die. Because that's what the doctors have told you. But I stand here in the name of the Lord. And I cancel that report. It doesn't matter what you have in your body, which sickness, we cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. It is against the law. It sounds like in our family, there is a family whereby uh, uh, not drinking alcohol is against the bylaw. Everyone drinks. But you can break that in Jesus' name. This was a bylaw in the kingdom. There was a law. It was against the king. There are some houses. There is invisible laws like uh, people get miscarriages. But you, if you pray and fast, you can change that law. And you don't get miscarriages. Womanizing. You can you can pray and don't don't be like those brothers of yours that have five women and ten women. You understand? You pray and fast and break that chi chi take a take in your house. Some people that are, they have they have money, but by the time they die, they are as poor as a church mouse. So when you fast and pray, you break that chilo. That so Esther fasted to break the law. She prayed to God. Yes, that that will happen. So the Bible says. Bible after prayer and fasting. The Bible says she put on. Bible I want to talk about even the maid servants uh, fasted. I don't think these maid servants were 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 Jews. This tells me if I'm your leader, you're going to follow my God. Oh, oh, Esther had converted them. Amen. Amen. Now the Bible says that she finally put on her clothes to go and help. See three days of fasting. Thirty days in the thirty minutes in the mirror. Not thirty, not three days in the mirror and thirty days in prayer. And thirty oh, minutes. Minutes in prayer. That's what that's a mistake we do. You, you want to be like Robert Kanya. You want to be like Benny Hinn. You want to be like Alex Mitter. You want you want to dress like them. You want to talk like them. You want to hey, you are spending more time in the mirror. They did spend more time in the mirror. They spent more time in prayer and fasting. Esther spent three days in prayer and spent like 30 minutes in the mirror. How did you get it? Uh -huh. Just to perform. To, to perform. perform. So, so you find people preparing more for marriage. Yeah. Physically. Yeah. Instead of spiritually. She knows where the dress, the hair, the spent more time in prayer and fasting than in the mirror. So if you are to earn balance, you can be more spiritual than physical. But, uh, but also don't miss this. Which is a mistake also some Christians do. Some of God's children. They spend three days, they spend three days in, the, in, in fasting. Like Esther, they don't have time for the mirror. They just go. Spiritually smart, physically shabby. When I say 
more time in the mirror. This is in books. She spent time to put on lipstick and a nice dress because according to the scripture, the Bible says, Samuel, you guys look at the outside appearance. Some people who don't know how many times you fasted. They need to see the dress, the shirt, the haircut. Okay, I want a job. Yes, I fasted for it. What can you do? I didn't, uh, not even a course, not even a certificate. Me, I'm here. But even David knew how to play a harp. So, don't just fast for three days. If, if Esther fasted for three days and didn't brush her teeth and went to the king, they will be like, who she smells go. So, so three days in the in the in fasting, but at least 30 minutes in the mirror. Because where you're going for job interview, they don't know how many times you fasted. They will see the books you read, they will see the dress you put on. Am I am I preaching? Amen. So you need to balance it. So Esther fasted. So spiritually she was uh, she was blessed. Uh, she was blessed. Then she looked for a nice dress. So when you go for that date, thank you, you are too much a Christian. You fasted about it, but you may need to have a nice hairstyle because me that wants to marry you, I'll look at the shoe, how you brushed. Uh, do you smell? How do you smell? So she spent 30, but at least she spent less time in the mirror and more time in fasting. So when you are too spiritual, you must balance. The Bible says don't be over spiritual. But at least you have to be spiritual. So the courage to face tomorrow, the courage to face the Goliaths, the courage to start on that house, the courage for Esther, she got it from prayer and fast. Say amen. amen. Let me pray for you. Father, someone repeat after me. Say, dear Lord, dear Lord teach, me teach me that you are the source, that you are the source of, strength, of strength, my strength, my, strength, my, courage, my courage to face fear, to face fear and, to overcome. and to overcome. Esther fasted Esther and she went to the king. And she went to the she was so favored. She was so favored. She broke the law. She broke the law. So in Jesus' name, so in Jesus may, name the may the Lord give you power and turn you into a great person. That family, that church, that business has ever seen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Three powerful amen. Amen. Number two. Amen. Number three. Amen. Be strong and be courageous. Pick your courage from fasting, from reading the word of God, and from prayer. Amen time to give our offerings but before we do that please repeat after me say dear lord i come to you forgive me write my name in the book of life in jesus name amen let's give dear lord to all our sisters and brothers that have not stopped to plant seeds tithes and offerings in these tough days like isaac we pray that isaac planted seeds in tough times in famine Bible says he harvested, became very, very prosperous. May the Lord hear you that are standing seeds, sending us money to stay on air, to buy internet, to stay on uh, Spark TV, UBC, uh, NBS, and other TVs. Uh, people that send us support to pay for the pavers. People that send us support to buy food for our brothers and sisters that don't have food. The Lord God bless you for me and give you strength and courage. Fear not, you're going to do this. In Jesus' name. Someone is watching me and there is a project you started and it's not been uh, moving but from today from the seeds you will sow the lord will start to move it says the lord thank you so much say three powerful amen number two amen can i have joel here come here before you sign out please the numbers on the screen plant your seeds and wait for a harvest uh-huh hi joel Shalom says, I'm currently not working due to lockdown, but I'm grateful to God for, pro for providing all my, heart de my heart's desires. Prayer works. Prayer wow. works. God bless you, Sharon. Sharon, her name is Sharon. Shalom. Shalom. God bless you, Sharon. Jackie says, I thank God that I was retained at my workplace after chopping off work. Sh oh, he was coming over Galo. Congrats, Jackie. 
Beatrice says, I have tooth e- toothache, yet I can't go to hospital because of lockdown. I'm in too much pain. Please uh, pray for me. Dear Lord, we pray that you provide a way for my sister so that that, that tooth will be taken out or, or treated. Oh, let your power just heal her in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord give you a way. You need to go to a hospital. They take it out or do something. All right. Chris Gisarche says, I need, a, I need a peaceful, rewarding job and a financial breakthrough. What's her name? Chris Gisarche. Chris Chisache, we pray for you that God will give you a good job that gives you peace in Jesus' name. Mercy says, I thank God for this platform. My life is changing for you. Come on, praise God. Amen. Mutebi, Anita Mutebi says, Pastor, we have a ministry, but we are looking for money to buy church land. Pray for us, please. Lord, we pray for Anita Mutebi. They have a ministry and they need church land. You are the God who provides. You gave Ruth in the Bible. You gave her land. Please give this church land in Jesus' name. Amen. Ephraim says, Pastor, pray for my sister. She has HIV. Atetalina Mukisa Wadena Katono. Okay. What's her name? Ephraim. Lord, anyone first of all we command hiv to leave her body according to jeremiah 32 27 you are the lord of all with flesh nothing is too hard for you father bible says in isaiah no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper anyone with hiv may the lord god hear your prayers and take it out of your blood in jesus name amen lord they also said in taina mukisawa the sister waruth so anyone that, that has no blessing at all <laughs> Lord by faith anyone that is not blessed at all let this day be the day number one of her sister starting to be blessed a brother in Jesus name Amen Jacqueline Nankoma Mary says pray for my auntie Beatrice who lost her daughter last week she is too weak and very vulnerable and everyone at home feels she won't make it. Dear Lord, we pray for Jackie. Her name is Jackie. Jackie's sister, who, her auntie, who lost her son. Lord, in Jesus' name, we pray for strength. Psalms 34, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. So by faith, we pray that the Lord God will be close to her auntie. Hold her close and give her strength and courage to move on from this pain. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sauda says, Pastor, pray for me to get a job for I lost my job during this lockdown. Lord, we pray for Sauda that you provide a job for her in Jesus' mighty name and a good job we pray. Amen. Glosh, Glosh says, pray for our family. My mother is over sickly, yet our financial status is not stable. How, what's her name? Glosh. Father, we pray for Glosh. You are a miracle working God. Please intervene and bless them in Jesus' name. Heal every disease in their family and provide for them. Let everyone who hears this prayer in that family be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Edith says, Pastor, my sister is too sick. Please put her in prayer. Anyone that is too sick, starting with Edith's sister, may the Lord God intervene and do you good. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed, be healed one more time. Be healed. I said it seven times and you are healed in Jesus' name. Catherine says, May the Lord heal my throat and chest. Please touch your throat, Catherine. Father God, may your power go through this camera and heal Catherine's throat and chest in Jesus' name. Amen. Irene says, Pastor, pray for me to finish my contract well. Lord, we pray for Irene that her contract will be finished well. We declare and decree this word in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it? All right. Can you make the closing prayer for the people? Dama, how did she do? Yeah? That was great. Somebody sent a, a, a comment here. It says, testimony reader, may God give you more wisdom. Even my kids will be like you. Amen. Her that name is great. Joella. Joella is in kids' church and uh, at the worship house, and we are, we are mentoring her. She's going to be a great lady someday. Amen. 
All right, pray, pray for the people. God give them courage. Did you learn anything from what I said today? Yes. Uh -huh. Source of your courage. What did you learn? I learned from Queen Esther. You should always break something that is not supposed to be done to when you know that what you're going to do is going to give you something better. Mm -hmm. I also learned that have the courage mm. and you'll be like Queen Esther. Amen. So pray for the people. Dear loving Father, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you for all that we thank you for all that you've provided us, oh dear loving Father. Oh dear loving Father, we pray for those people who are sick. We pray so that they can be healed. Oh dear loving Father, cover them unto your precious blood. Cover them unto your precious blood, oh dear loving Father. Wherever they are, we pray so that you can provide people with food, oh dear loving Father. Oh dear loving Father, we know you are the provider. You provide for us everything that we need, oh dear loving Father. Oh dear loving Father, you are a father, you are a mother. You are always there with us, oh dear loving Father. We, we pray so that you can protect us, oh dear loving Father. We pray so that you... Prepare so that you can rebuke whatever thing is going to, whatever thing is going to happen, oh dear loving Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you so much. Thank you, Joella. I love Joella so much. Thank you. Thank you, Joella. God bless you so much. I love you deeply. I appreciate that you spend time. You you put on your data, your Wi-Fi, and pray with us. May the Lord answer your prayers. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you, everyone. Please be strong and be courageous. And remember, the source of courage is through the word of God, through prayer and fasting like Esther. You pick up courage and face the king like a lion and the Lord will favor you. I love you deeply and I mean it. God bless you so much. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, everybody. I love you. See you tomorrow, same time.